hello there people <laughs> anyway yeah today i'm going to be showing you something good to be playing in the lifeboat and a bit of gameplay like the best strategies too so yeah a uh, lifeboat <coughs> in cubecraft but you'll need a friend for cubecraft so first i'll be showing you a lifeboat network or lifeboat whatever you want to call it So it just takes a lot to load. And yeah, so you're in life on network. Play with a friend. What I recommend is Sky Wars. Uh, either solo lucky blocks or duo lucky blocks. If you're playing with a friend, do duos. I mean, you can keep doing it. I'm just going to do solos because I'm playing by myself. And then do this thing called Kits. Kit selection, you can choose who you want to be. So Enchanter, Tank. Yeah, handyman is a what is that un, handyman again? A stone pickaxe, axe and shovel. Because I'm a camper, I'm being a, a handyman. For more of a builder, get the builder thing. Mm, oh yeah, but the thing is, you need to be careful of. Oh yeah, and the map you should probably choose is be garden out of that. Uh, you need to be careful of being rushed, and even if you are, just spam them or build away, spleef them. If you don't know what that means, spleefing is basically where someone's just roaming, like, bridging over to you and you break them and kill them with full damage, which is something I do all the time. Like, I do that all the time. People always die to that. And yet, it, the best thing to do when you're opening a block is not be holding anything, in my opinion. Because then, you can lose it. Because they're not always lucky blocks. Everyone should know that. So just look around your island for lucky blocks. Oh, you're stone short. Let's go. Let's see. Shoot, I'm not a noob, okay, guys? Don't before you go thinking that I am not a noob. I forgot. A wall token if you fall in the void, not while fighting, just jump in the void. It's saved you. You can get a wall token from someone else. If you're playing Bedrock or Pocket Edition, you don't need to go like that. You can just look forward and bridge over. <laughs> like, see that guy there? I can spleef him. And I found that the wall token saves me. And so if he comes near me, I can just leave him, which is basically just, oh yeah, bee garden down here, I forgot about this. No! You mind the iron and smelt it? That's what I do to get an iron sword. Get the coal. Like, it's smart, like, no one does this. I smelt the iron. To get to, and then there's a crafting table so you can make an iron sword, which I find pretty useful. And you can get more building blocks. So I'm a camper, so I like to camp like the bottom of them places, like the bottom. But here, you can't have to camp there. There's nowhere to camp in this map though. So I find that a problem. This some maps have diamonds in it, so if you take get the diamonds, you can just yeah you get a diamond sword. But this map sadly doesn't. I'll take the coal. Yeah, so that's what I do. You might be different than me though. That is what to not do. Because you don't have a wall token. Anyway, that's one thing. Uh, yeah, so I sadly died. And yeah, that's the one thing I love to play. Life Point Network, Sky Wars, and then there's a thing called One in the Chamber. Which is a really fun game. I'll explain it to you in a minute. Yeah, so my, the best map is the Bazaar. Just, just letting you guys know. So basically, like you have a bow and sword and an arrow. 
if you if you hit someone with your arrow, they die instantly. If you miss, you lose your arrow until you kill someone. And then just saw PvP. This is for PvP people. Yeah, so I missed my shot. You can kill at the same time too. Sometimes you can spawn inside of someone and they will accidentally kill you. If you get one shot, you're most likely... If you get the first shot and you can keep your crosser on them, you probably won. Yeah, I am really good with bows. I'm just letting you guys know. If you want to friend me, you can't friend me. Oh, that's a close one. I'm probably going to die here. Oh, no. Oh, knew it. Yeah, so I, I think it's a really fun game. Maybe not you though. But if you like PvP, I recommend Sky Wars, Lucky Blocks, and One in the Chamber. You can also do Bed Wars if you want. Like if you like defending stuff with the team. So I recommend. Still, there's no building simple yep kill at the same time you respawn you get an arrow and you oh what wait, what and that can happen yeah i'm just pointing this out you can get hackers in your lobby people will literally fly and go to you i killed them and respawned two arrows again that happens all the time to me Just fall damage, yes, yeah, pretty simple. See that? Oh, what the? I always get hit from behind. It's really annoying sometimes. And if you want to cancel it out, I would switch. Like, if you're holding your bow, you realise you messed up <laughs> your sword. Instead of wasting an arrow. Steve, that is. I recommend the bizarre map. I'll try my best to get the map on. I'm dead, I'm dead. I actually killed him. I'm dead from this fight though. If they don't kill me, they are bad. They're actually running? Who is this bad? See, that happens. You get in the way of someone. I'll try my best to get the bizarre map on. Then the game's ended. Someone got 52 kills, probably a hacker. But you never know, so select next match. And I'm going to try to get the bizarre map. Hello, you finally got the bizarre map. I'll show you my favourite part in a sec. So the bazaar up here, pretty simple to start off with. But the best part is getting up here, sniping people and wanting to block. Like in my opinion. But make sure to watch your back. Just letting you know that. Instead of finding the stairs, there's an easier way to get up there. That's a hacker. See? Yeah, there's, so there's a hacker in this lobby. Because you just saw them. Like, spam PvP isn't even a thing anymore. Are they actually that bad? Nice Kakashi skin. So, get over here. 
Nope, it's not the right one. I'm lost with the county. And where is it? Is it? Same time kill. Oh, I thought he had moved. See, that, that was the hacker. Three hits of the sword and the dead. You can see the hacker just speeding. Oh, imagine I actually hit them. Here it is, yeah, so if you spawn here. See, you first hit, you can probably go. If you spawn here, you can jump here. And boom, you're up. Here's the hacker, see? They're a proper hacker. That's what you need to be careful of. Oh yeah, he's going up here. It's hard to get a proper range shot. Yeah, if you take full damage, probably you're probably two shots. And the vines are useful for the clutches. Here's the hacker. I hate these because they can have hackers and they just don't get banned. Former cow. Who will remind me to leave after this match. Accidentally kill them, see if they get inside of you, they're dead. You shoot an arrow. Oh, yes, they got banned. The hacker got kicked or left. Let's go. This is why it's my favorite map. It's the best spot to get killed. Eh? in my opinion so you can just clutch over there yeah so that's it